Crown rump length is an ultrasound measurement that is used during pregnancy. The baby is measured in centimeters from the top of their head crown to the bottom of their buttocks rump. The limbs and yolk sac are not included in the measurement. The crown rump length can be measured starting around 6 or 7 weeks of pregnancy up until 14 weeks. The crown rump length is the longest length of the embryo or fetus measurable excluding the limbs and yolk sac. The embryo becomes a fetus after 10 gestational weeks, that is, 71 completed days based on the LMP. The accuracy of the crown rump length LN dating the pregnancy depends on good correlation between this measurement and fetal age in a period when growth is rapid and minimally influenced by fetal pathology. Crown rump length is thus very useful in calculating gestational age. With this gestational age, doctors can estimate your potential due date. The earlier the first ultrasound is performed, the more accurate the baby's gestational age will be. Once the fetus has developed past 14 weeks, head circumference, bipartal diameter, and femur length measurements are used to determine how the baby is progressing. The length of the umbilical cord is typically the same as the crown rump length throughout pregnancy. The crown rump length is predictive of fetal age, with an error of 3 days, 90% confidence limits, from 7 to 10 weeks, and of 5 days from 10 to 14 weeks gestation. The crown rump length grows approximately 10 mm per week from weeks 8 to 12. The crown rump length of the fetuses, in a case of multiple gestation, is the most important ultrasound parameter for dating of the pregnancy and, if necessary, to correct the gestational age in cases with a non-reliable menstrual history. The onset of early growth retardation in one of the fetuses may indicate a higher risk for chromosomal abnormalities. Once the fetus's crown rump length surpasses 7 mm, a heartbeat should be detected by ultrasound. If no heartbeat or cardiac activity is detected, then the pregnancy is likely a missed abortion. Normally, the crown rump length correlate between co twins, although some degree of variability has been observed in multifetal pregnancies. Measurement of the crown rump length can easily be done at the time of the first trimester scan, 11-14 weeks of gestation. Later in pregnancy, correction of gestational age should be avoided, since growth curves in multiple pregnancies differ from those in singleton pregnancies beyond the second trimester. There are no significant differences with measurements made by the transabdominal route or the transvaginal route. Because transvaginal scan provides superior resolution and more accurate identification of the embryonic structures than abdominal ultrasound. The accuracy of crown rump length measurements in determining gestational age is within 3-5 days. There is an optimum window for crown rump length measurement, which is between 7 and 9 weeks using transvaginal scan. Decreased crown rump length can also diagnose chromosomal anomalies like trisomy 18, which is Edward syndrome, and other trisomies associated with growth restriction. Standard embryology texts indicate that the embryonic heart begins to beat at the beginning of the sixth week, when the crown rump length is 1 to 3 mm. Thus it is not surprising that cardiac activity may or may not be identified in normal embryos with crown rump length less than 2 mm. Thanks for watching. Please do subscribe for